We've been baseball distancing since thigh slapping was a thing. Game flat bad. Since before 2020 super glued us to our phone. What are you consuming? This technological world is what Jay-Z used to say, the gift and the curse. Consume wisely. These life analogies make you realize how much baseball can teach you. No matter how good you look, you'll fall. That's where you get back on the horse with the same swag like it never left. That's the mindset created by strengthening parts of your character. Want to attain it? Grab a chair. Let's talk. Way back when I was training, man, when I was grinding, while I had the work ethic, I didn't have the guidance, but I did have YouTube. But we didn't have iPhones like we do now, right? Everything is in the palm of our hands. If we want entertainment, we got it. What I had to do was write stuff down on a piece of paper, write down some major keys, take it with me, practice it. I did get to film it, but I couldn't compare and contrast film unless I was home on my computer. So if there's one thing that that taught me, it was patience. I had to be patient because I knew my swing wouldn't develop in one day. So one day I might be home and I catch something that I did all practice that shouldn't have been done. Guess what I wrote down right on that piece of paper? The mistake I had to fix. I, I wanna prepare you more than just being good at baseball. It's, it's having this type of confidence and all these, again, these values and, and, and traits that baseball teaches you. If I can do that for you, man, I'm happy. Just drop that like button, all right? Cause you know, these many of you ain't subscribed and that's sad. I'm dropping videos like I drop bombs. So like and subscribe. Either way, man, we found a way and, and those traits that it taught me is, is carrying over to my new endeavors in life. While you're trying to be the best hitter you can be, the best baller you can be, I'm trying to be the best big bro video creating savage I can be. And I'm taking those traits that I learned from the patience and discipline that I learned from hitting in baseball and I'm taking that into just creating videos for y'all, man, so y'all can enjoy it and, and still be informed at the same time. Got Malik just said, you're gonna beat me in the ones. Before y'all keep watching, let me know in the comments who you think's gonna win. Malik or Cal? Gio's not in it. Well, let's see, we're gonna play the ones, but first, grab your leather and let's work. My hands are improving, especially when I look back at those times where, you know, my nickname was Stone Hands. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was tired of playing left field. I really was. I didn't like left field, I didn't like the outfield. I knew I wanted to be in the infield, I knew it was hard. There's so much outside factors, like bad dirt and people running. But once I forgot about that, the factors, the variables, when I started focusing on what I can control, just my hands, my footwork, body control. That's when my defense took off. Just breaking things down logically because, you know, one of the one of the main phrases I heard as a kid is get in front of the ball. So just in hindsight, I was wondering why the hell I made so many errors, right? And it was because get in front of the ball, took it literally. Two hands, took it literally. You don't always have to use two hands. You don't always have to get in front of the ball. That's when my athleticism took over and I was able to make some plays while I'm running and boom, just confidence started booming. All that to say, Baseball taught me persistence. It taught me almost like stubbornness. That's not a word a lot of people like to use, but baseball made me stubborn. People are gonna say stuff, and people are always gonna be like, yeah, you know, you got a 1% chance to make it to college, but they're always scientists out there, right? But, you know, let's ignore these naysayers and like, let's focus on finding a solution. How can you be a one percenter? By doing 1% things. And that's practicing, but practicing right. And also embracing all these traits that this game is gonna teach you. We just showed off some of the hands now with some leather. Now we're about to get on some different leather and show off the hands there. We need a new football. We need a new quarterback. You wanna try? <laughs> Bro. 
Oh, so who won this one? Oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> I heard he was an owl. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's CJ, I heard he was an owl. Huh? I heard he. <laughs> what both y'all say, huh? <laughs> Did I tell you I related, bro? I'm about to hurt you. Okay. Not literally like his heart. Break his heart. Oh. Not hurt. That sounds like it still hurts, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's game planning. All right. What kind of play you think he's gonna run? Something where he's shaking it up like a blender. See what you did there. <laughs> Watch this far, like this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.